hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today um i'm going to show you guys how i make um the gold foil tassel that i've been making this is um just an example of the cute girl ones that i wanted to replicate i have some papers here that i got at hobby lobby these are actually like thin paper. It's not cardstock paper or anything. And this would be perfect because if you use cardstock, it might be a little too thick. So this is perfect for making these tassels. And I did purchase um, the gold foil from Amazon. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys. But um, yeah, let's get started. I was also inspired by Mrs. Everly, who is um, Tina Marie. I'll leave her um, tutorial down below for you guys as well. And she made it with beautiful music note paper, and I absolutely loved it. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, cut my paper down. So I'm going to show you the best way to make a lot of tassels at once because um, the foil does come in a pack like this and I want to make it so that we can use like basically a sheet and not waste any because it's really hard to put the foil on and not waste the rest of them. It kind of like clumps up or um, like you can't really use it after that unless it's like little pieces here and there on your project. So I'm going to show you a way that I do it and make a lot all at once. So we are going to cut the paper down to um, five by four. So let's cut it by five first and then four. So I have two of the black and white one and then I will do two of the mint color one. I'm loving this color, so pretty. So here are my papers. I'm loving these colors together. I use a lot of this color on um, a lot of projects. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, on the five inch side, we're gonna put double-sided tape along one side. So this is the five inch side and this is the four inch side. We're gonna put it along the five inch side. I have this um, double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree and if you want more foiling then you can use a thicker tape this is probably about um, one-fourth inch we're gonna do it just straight across the edge there You're going to want to make it straight just because um, wherever the tape is, the foil is going to stick to it. So just make sure that it's straight. And I will put tape on all of these and then I'll come back. All right, I am back. 
So I actually cut out um, three pieces of each here. So there's nine pieces instead of um, two each, just so we can put, um, you know, not waste a whole piece of foil when we put it down. So the next thing you want to do is line up your pieces of paper with um, the double sided tape to one side. So I just um, layer them on top of each other like this. And then when we place the foil on top, it'll cover this whole area. And then you don't have to waste so much foil, depending on what size foil you purchase. Mine is actually not like that big. So I guess this is kind of like a six by six if I measure it. Yeah, six by six piece of foil. So just as long as you get foil, then it'll work. Doesn't matter what size you get. And then the next thing we want to do is clamp it down. So I'm gonna take all of these pieces. This is the clamp that you get from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just gonna clamp each side of it so it doesn't move. There we are. And then we can remove um, the double-sided tape. So I actually was supposed to work today, but there is a tropical storm Elsa outside going on right now. It is raining so hard. I don't know if you can hear the rain or not, but it's raining really, really hard. I hope it doesn't pick up on camera. That is the perks of living in Florida. <laughs> but I actually, I love it here. It's too hot and humid, but our winters are so nice. It kind of makes up for it. While everyone is um suffering in the snow and the cold we get to enjoy Florida winter weather I actually would like it to get a little bit colder here more but you can't ask for too much I guess so I'm sorry if you can hear all that rain outside but um, this is the only time I have to make this tutorial, so we'll make it work. Okay, so I have this right here. The sticky parts are right here. And then the next thing you're going to want to do before you open this pack of foil is turn off any fans that you have in the room. I always have a fan running because we live in Florida and it's always hot here. But, um... I, the first time I tried this, I had the fan running and the foil was like, it's so thin and delicate that it went all over the place and um, it's harder to control that way. So make sure you turn off um, your fan if you have one on and then I'll take one sheet out of the packaging. This is actually a really good... Um, foil that I'm using. It does come in silver and rose gold as well, but you guys already know I love using gold. So you have to be really delicate when you use this. So that is my piece of gold foiling. Let me put this away. I can actually make more tassels than this if I want to, just because um, just as long as the foil covers the sheet, then you're good. But for this tutorial, I will make the lesser. So take your foil. Mine comes with like this um, piece of, I don't know, like this covering for the foil. So I like to use them both at once and then press it down really good. So take your foil and just lay it right on top of the sticky parts. This part does not have to be perfect at all. And then press it down. If um, yours doesn't come with this piece 
right here that overlays it, then just um, do it really gently with your fingers and pat down the gold foil. It should adhere to wherever the double-sided tape is. I think that's pretty good. And then we are going to lift that off. You see how um, this foil over here is going to be wasted. You can use this on other projects, but it won't be like a full piece anymore. So that's why um, you want to cover like a large um, area so you don't waste this bit of foil. I actually do um, nails and I put this in like a, a little jar and I put these on my client's nails. So that's a really good idea of how to use that and then I know a lot of people use foiling for their like um, embellishments and projects as well on paper so that's always a good idea so you can take these plants out and then make sure it's all pressed down to the double sided tape then you just take each piece out Slowly, you don't want to completely tear off the foil because it's so delicate, but it should come off very easily, just like that. And I only put double sided tape on one edge, you can put it on both, but I feel like you don't really see it once you put the tassel together, so I only put it on the one edge. So that comes off fairly easy and then the excess gold foil that you have hanging off you can just take it off very easily. Kind of shape it a little bit with your finger and then it leaves you with that, that edge. I don't like it to look too perfect anyways. Um, it gives it kind of like a distressed gold foiling look, which I really love how this looks. Not too store ball. You know that it's handmade. You know what I mean? I love it. Oh my gosh. I actually bought this um, gold foil like probably over a year ago. And I've been meaning to try this, but you know, you buy so many things and you say you're going to try so many projects and you just never have time for it so it was just sitting in my drawer for over a year and I was cleaning up and I saw the foil and I was like oh yeah I remember I bought this to make these tassels Okay, now I have all of these pieces ready. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is um, fold your pieces along the five inch side. So we're just gonna fold our pieces in half, just like that. So this was the five inch side and this was the four inch side right here. You're gonna be folding it down the middle, just like that. And the next thing you're going to want to do is cut your fringes. So I want to leave probably about half an inch from the top. It does not have to be, you know, perfect or anything. If you have fringe scissors, then you can definitely use that. But with the fringe scissors, I think the slits are too far apart. I would like the slits a little bit closer together. Um but that's just my opinion and you can do it however you like. So this is the one I used with fringe scissors and I think it's too far apart. So I'm gonna actually make it a tad bit thinner than that. So I will cut my, um, my slits and then I will come back, but I don't like it to be very big so it's just a tad bit thinner than your fringe scissors
and this part really does not have to be perfect at all as you can see I'm just eyeballing it so a little bit smaller just like that I will continue and then I will be right back okay so I have it all cut the fringe right here and then the next thing I'm going to do is actually cut this in half this will make two tassels and this part really does not have to be perfect either I just kind of eyeball it and then we're gonna cut this in half Just like that, with one of these pieces, you you can make two tassels with this. So you can put that aside and then um, get your jump ring ready right here. I like to use larger jump rings because um, with the smaller one, you won't be able to fit the, this inside of the jump ring. So this is actually the larger size that I got at Hobby Lobby. So... The next thing we're going to do is actually open up this tassel just like this so it is laying flat and then I put the foil side on this side and then the side with no pattern we're just going to start rolling your um, paper. I start off really small first. You see how this is actually just like one slit right here i start off really small and then once you get um down here then it starts getting bigger and bigger so start really small and then just roll it slowly slowly keeping it pretty flat just keep rolling it And then once we get to the end, so the paper side where um, the end is right there, we're gonna um, fold that. So the paper where it ends right there, we're gonna fold it and put it in the middle so that you don't see it on the outside. And then we're gonna put one end through this jump ring. You can always just open the jump ring if you need more space to slide it through. Oh, I got such bad allergies today. I have sniffles. So that is the jump ring right there. And then the next thing we're gonna wanna do is um, secure it. I like to use um, this DMC thread that I get at um, Hobby Lobby. I love using this gold thread. I don't I don't use this for sewing just because um, the thread is so thick, but I love this to secure the tassel right here. So that's what I'm going to use. So I have the thread um, in like a you know, like you can get a little jar like this, put the thread in there so that it doesn't roll around while you're using it. And I just put a little dab of glue to secure the end first. And then you can just start wrapping your thread around your tassel. And then we will just secure it with some glue. Let it dry for like a few seconds and then I can pat it down with your finger. That is how I secure my tassels. You don't really see the glue at all. So you don't have to worry about it. I used to um, use like thinner gold thread that you sew with and um, use a needle to um, 
do this part and it was just such a hassle doing it with a needle so I just decided to use the glue instead so that is my tassel right there I love how this came out again if you want the gold foiling to show more you can do both sides if you want it doesn't bother me that there's peaks of gold here and there I actually like the look of that like right here you can see there's no gold but that doesn't bother me I love the way this looks super cute and if you compare it to this one it's actually pretty similar I love how it came out I hope you guys like this tutorial this is just my version you know um, it's just easy for me to do it like this so you can make um, a lot of them at once I hope you check out um, Tina Marie's video as well but have a great day guys bye